tonight, and that was. I was like, here we go. Jesus. There you go. I'm not going to mention. He's <laughs> coming out. The, the, the old he one. He set that up. <laughs> <laughs> I, I forgot about that. He yeah. owes me one. That's it. Yeah. Good. Sound oh. check. Uh, clap, clap, clap. Am I doing it? Yeah, you do it. We're in. We're in. Right. So, create, sell, repeat. Chris Wild. Welcome to the studio. Thank you yes, very much for welcome. having me. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Welcome. So we've got three cameras on the go here. So Chris is an actor, so he ain't going to be that shy about no. any of this. <laughs> three cameras, two lights, three, three microphones. Mic. Yeah, we got it all going on. We're on. very, very technical. Yeah, we like and no one we like operating technology. any of them. No. So yeah, I mean, you've you've got like a, you, you're a creative monster, mate. You've been you know you've been doing acting, you've been yeah, painting, you've yeah. been you know you you've uh, you've been boxing. You know you've got you've got a lot going on in your life. Yeah, um, yeah. and you manage these amazing care homes for children as well. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you've got a lot going on. So how do you how do you see your how do you see yourself as an artist? Like you do these great uh, paintings, you know, just like I do really. I'm just, uh, it's, it's, there is, there is a synergy there. Yeah. You paint how you feel, you know, I, I mean, that's, that's how I see my work. I was showing it to you, wasn't I, DK? His mm. work. I was showing yeah, yeah, yeah. Chris's work. It, yeah. And you know, Fantastic. it's very colourful, great. It's 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 yeah. got your I can see your personality in it. And I always know it's yours. That's one of the <laughs> things I really like right. as well. I yeah. like to be able to see it. If I look at an artist, I know where their work is. I, I know whose work it is, that sort of thing. You're so not I hiding that story either, Chris. No, you, no. You and want I think, people but, to know where that art comes from. Yeah, of course. And that's the thing about, you know, when I said said to you earlier, it's about it's personal, isn't it? And mm. I think, you know, for me, when I do paint and when I do create stuff. It's it's a very much a subconscious thing for me. As cliche as that sounds, for me, it is a subconscious thing. It is for me. Yeah, you know, I've gone yeah. through so much trauma as a young man myself, was brought through the care system. I've witnessed things, my dad dying at a young age. And, you know, it's just finding ways to exert that. And mm. for me, being creative enabled me to do that. Boxing, it was never a fight for me. It was about getting that gin and gym and learning the discipline, as it was with acting, and then finding painting as well. It was another form of being ex being able to exert that energy mm. and not do any damage to mm. myself. Mm. That's that for me was key. For oh, this is good. I'm not going out drinking. I'm doing this and doing that. I'm actually exerting that same energy mm. in that same format, and I'm not hurt. Mm. And that was key for me. You might not be hurt. You might even be healing. But, but this is the, but isn't that isn't that why it was it's so great and even now every time I do a painting I stand back after about three or four hours and I think wow where did that come from mm. shit that's weird but why so are, you, are your paintings unplanned when you go into oh yeah the I don't know what I'm doing I have no. no idea and sometimes I just want to kick the shit out of the canvas and say oh I can't do this anymore this is I've not for seen, me I've seen that somewhere kicking <laughs> yeah. shit out of but canvases. I love kicking shit out of yeah canvases. you want you said cliche earlier yeah. I think it's authentic you know mm. there is no I don't I, listen that's it's, that is the boat that is in my opinion they are the best artists in the world yeah the, the artists that dig deep and paint how they feel they express that's why I buy into those artists yeah yeah and, and you know and as a collector of art which i am i like that i like to be able to feel someone's story on the canvas i love that I, yeah. I, i'm not really one for copy and i always think the camera does such a great job why on earth would we do something literal yeah so that that expression and uh, and the colors you use i think that brings over your full personality yeah and you know what's interesting about that someone once said to me about mozart when mozart did his like don giovanni which was his they say it was his darkest piece of work he was the happiest he's ever been hmm. but when he did the mar mar marriage of figaro he was at his lowest point where he was suicidal Yet marriage figure was so happy and vibrant, it's full of color. And I think it is with me with my painting. When I put that color to it, it enlightens me. It illuminates my life a little yep. bit more. Yeah. And that's why, you know, it, it's so powerful. And you know, you said a good thing actually. I don't think you can lie on a canvas. I think you get caught out. Mm. Mm. I think if you paint something right and it's not real, people look at that and say, actually. That's that's not you. I don't feel you, mm -hmm. and and this is why you know for me it is spontaneous. It is it is a sporadic thing because that's the truth. Mm. I'm telling you the truth. Mm. If I sit down and think about it, plan it. That, that what is that? That's preparation. And sometimes it it doesn't you know it doesn't work for me. If I'm telling you the truth, it has to be a spontaneous mm. and a sporadic thing. Do, you, do your collectors react in that way as well? Can they do they well, like share their stories with you? Do they see your story? Do they know about your story? I think what they did, the which was a bonus, is that. I, they read a book I, I, I wrote yeah. first, you know, about damage, about being brought up in a care sector, about going back in a care sector. And that book is dark. I mean, he talks about, you know, shit I experienced as a kid, which, you know, I, I wasn't comfortable about talking about. And even writing a book, 
I felt exposed because everybody knew me then. Mm -hmm. You know, I was like, shit, how am I going to get about this? And it's same with the painting. I think people were intrigued then to see, whoa, okay, so I've read the book and I've seen your painting. I'm, I'm intrigued to find out a little bit more about you and I'm yeah. intrigued to see a little bit more of your work. Yeah. Mm. And that's how it came about. That was the foundation. Mm. And that's where the process comes from, I guess. Similar to you, Lincoln, a lot of your early collectors accessed you through your book. Yeah, um, and a lot of the collectors that didn't know about my book once they bought the work, and I, maybe I signed one of my books. You know, the hunger. I mean, you know, it was it's it's a it's a dark book. I mean, it's you know, it's uh, it's the truth about my. It's a memoir of my time in Solo, yeah. but that energy is flowing yeah. through my work, and I think that book has been has been more and more that the years go by more accepted by collectors that want to see the real energy yeah. that's yeah. in that I work. I hear that all the know? time from and your collectors. They want to know that story. Yeah, and that's a really good uh, yeah. you know way in yeah. for them to be able to you know what, all that background. I, I've rocked up bumped into people and and they've said have you read his book i'm like yeah i've read his book it's a fuck it's deep isn't it i went yeah it's deep but look at the paintings i mean it's yeah, yeah, yeah. it's deep but it's but, the truth so man. i'm writing yeah, a yeah. book about my dark years with lincoln at the moment yeah it's gonna be published <laughs> it's gonna be published by hodder and Stor yeah, yeah it's called it? i'm it's called i'm not rude right because i mentioned something yesterday and dk said uh, i said uh, yeah but i'm not rude this is when my wife was here and she yeah. said you're not rude and actually dk said i'm actually going to write that down <laughs> hang on i'm not rude i'm anyway, writing it all down that's yeah, a called, good it's called the darkness that's a Great yeah, title. That's, yeah. that's always the title of most yeah. of our paintings, to be yeah. honest with you. But there you go. Okay, good. Look, I mean, you know, this is it's good because I, what I want to do is as well is I, when I first started this podcast, it was yeah. it was I wanted to try to look at it as, as you know, it's about sales and marketing and, and you know this sort of aggressive nature that I've got with regards to presenting work and what we do and how we show it and should we avoid you know all galleries and should it be we only go online? Is it virtual gallery all the way? But what it's, what's happened is it's sort of evolved already. I mean, well, this is only the first series, but it's evolved already that I want to hear about people's creativity. And I think yeah. that's why, you know, we've called it, you know, create, sell, repeat, because mm -hmm. the creation is, is, is very, very interesting for everyone. But the point being is you get to that point, and this is where I want to jump in now and talk about this, because you mentioned to me something about when you started boxing. Yeah. When your trainer got to you and said to you, right, I'm going to now get you in the ring. Now I, I want you to tell us about this because yeah. what I'm saying to you now is I think your paintings are ready to get into the ring. And that's yeah. why we, we as a studio, we, we want to work with you yeah. and we want to look at, um, we thought about a program where we could look at setting up. So every quarter, so like four times a year, we could take an artist and say, right, look, this is what you need to do, but you sort of need to go out and do it. Yeah. So in effect, we want you to go and find the ring to yeah. have the fight yeah. all right we yeah. want you to we want you to go and we will then support you with regards to social media yeah. and we'll have a look at that and we'll post things out and get a collection of your works and get out there and fight brilliant yeah yeah so tell us about tell us that story about when you started boxing because that's very interesting your trainer come to you and said right chris we've got you a fight here we go yeah it, i mean i Turning pro was great, you know, you, it's, it's, it's 18 years old, turning professional as a boxer, the world is your oyster, mm. it's great. But then you forget about the, the, the other side of that is you've got to fight. <laughs> <laughs> you've got, you know, people, you've got to make people money. Put yourself and for there. me, I was great in the gym. I trained hard and I knew that time was coming. You know, I knew that time there was a fight brewing up and my manager kept saying to me, right, okay, you know, so-and-so of October, you, you're fighting this guy called so-and-so. And I, and I was just like, you know, I, I can't do it. I couldn't do it. I just couldn't expose myself to do it. I didn't feel like I could do it. Mm. You know, I, I was always, my biggest, my biggest fight, my biggest enemy is always me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, yep. it's getting in that ring and producing the goods. I'd rather, at that point in my life, I'd rather live with the fact, but I didn't do it. And I kept my dignity mm -hmm. and then I did it. And I lost and everybody saw me and I was embarrassed. And that's how I felt, but, and I kept putting it back, I kept saying, oh, I'm not very well, I can't do it, you know. Oh. Oh, but, you know, I used to lie about hurting my hand in yeah, sparring. Yeah. I was like, yeah. I can't do it. But then, you know, it got to the point where he says, you know what it is, are you a boxer? Yes. What do boxers do? They fight, get in the ring. And it's same with the art link. And like you just said, it's, it's got to that stage now. I said, right, you, you, this is what you want to do. You made your mind up, haven't you? You're 40 years old, you want to do this. This is a part of your life. Yes, it's a part of my life. So what do you need to do for it to be a part of your life? Mm. You've got to get out there and do it. And that's, mm. and that's where I am. I'm on the precipice. And I think, you know. You know what all the listeners are wondering, Chris? What's how, did, how did the fight go? I lost. <laughs> all right, <there laughs> but, but you know what it is? I had to out. lose. I had to lose. Yeah. You know, I had to lose because mm. that was my fear. Mate, I was out fighting yeah. all the time in the streets yeah. trying to get my artwork out. I lost all the time. Yeah. And then I found somewhere where I could win. 
Yeah. You know, and and that's the point. It's it's like it's like no's and yeses. You're like everyone can keep saying to you no. Where you down with a no? Now I think of a no. When a when a when a prospect says to me, no, I'm not going to buy that. That's good for me because I'm nearer to a yes. Yeah, but that you know, you yeah. keep fighting, you get knocked down. You're nearer to a win. But, you're, it's, but you've got it's yeah. a mind. Everything is a mindset. You know, mm -hmm. I'm a fighter in my own way. I'm not. I'm not as uh, I'm not as powerful as you. I've seen you recently. You're still. You're still in the. You're still, still in the gym it. anyway. Yeah, yeah. Bo boxing. Um, but actually, funny enough, that's very interesting because when I watch, I watch your videos and I see you training. And uh, it, it, this is no word of a lie. I've I've now done five weeks with my personal trainer, and he's got yeah. me doing some boxing and stuff now. But I'll tell you what. Five weeks ago, I said I said to Denise, you know, Chris, man, look at him at that bag. I said that's inspiring to me. That's motivation. Yeah. It, it's it's. Motivation is is one of the biggest things because motivation is so hard to get. But once you've got it, it can drive you nearly anywhere. Yeah, it, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Mm. And that's that's one of the things that I always try to bring to the studio. I'm always saying, "Come on, guys, we we can do this." Yeah. And and it's all about understanding that you know it's it's hard sometimes to get the motivation, but once you've got it, you've got to use every yeah. single bit of it. Yeah, and you know it makes I mean? you it makes you sick, doesn't it? You know, when you're that motivated, it can make you sick because you become obsessed. And I've seen that with you. It's yeah, an obsession. Well, uh, I am yeah, obsessed. Yeah. I mean, I am obsessed with I'm I'm obsessed with with being in the studio creating stuff. And I'm I'm obsessed just as much with regards to saying, right, I've created this stuff. Now I'm gonna sell it. Let's yeah. position this and yeah. get it out there. Yeah, of course. Yeah. And that that's why that's why collectors buy me. Because I'm I'm a powerful guy, man. I when I, what I do, you know, I yeah. I smash doors down. I'm yeah. not I'm not taking no for an answer. Yeah. And that's that's the thing, and I know that, and there's a confidence there, and and it's, and, but I, but I'm only expressing that because one of the things I feel as well is, it's it's unusual. Hmm. It, that confidence is unusual, and it's not it's not misguided. It's, it's a real it's the real deal. I believe I can do anything. Yeah. I mean, if I if I text my son tonight and said, by the way, I'm going to the space station because I've done the first portrait of Earth from space, he would go to me, okay, then, Dad, when are you back? I'll come and see you. You know, he knows. He knows yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. I that's what I'm willing to do. I'm willing to I'm willing to go and take it to the to the max. Yeah. Yeah, do, do, do you have That's any fear you about that though? I mean, see, it's something yeah, I've always yeah, wanted man. to ask you. I mean, yeah, it's bothering me. Of course, me. I do. Are you not scared of anything? Because yeah. you just don't seem to be. You seem to go out there, like you said. It's it's so kind of it's so addictive is your confidence. But then it, the question is, there must be some niggling you a little bit. Say, hey, what if it, you don't do this, Lincoln? What if it doesn't work? Yeah, I mean, fear is a very strong word. Uh, there is um, there is always this, the the word doubt slips in because mm. it's got to be like. Um, DK and I will brainstorm. We're going to try to make it that we do sort of in each series, we do at least a couple of podcasts ourselves because yeah. one of the things that happens is in our studio, which is great to be able to, you know, to, to, to show to the world of artists out there is that we are managing processes all the time. And I'm yeah. throwing in things all the time that DK goes, hang on, hang on a minute. <laughs> you know, like let's, I'm doing this one at the moment. And I say, yeah, but we should bolt that on and we should do this. And DK always makes it look very good. Okay. Right, okay. He always polishes things off very well. Yeah, yeah. But some of the things we do don't work. And I like that. Right. So I do doubt sometimes things are going to work, but I know if I give it all I've got, I'll realize very quickly it's not working. So we shut it down. Right. So it's not really a fear. I'll go out and do it. But sometimes there is a doubt. So doubt is the word over fear. But it's it, I get it. If I was younger, there'd be a fear. Yeah. Uh, you know, fear and just it's just block it's just a blocker though, isn't it? Fear just blocks you from taking opportunities. Yeah, it does, yeah. but sometimes it's there. installed, isn't it? And you've got to fight you've got to try and tune into it and find out what unblocks it. And that's the thing. Yeah. I heard recently fear is is an adult's way of just not being able to deal with excitement. That's you know, a good, kids that's a get good excited. Point, they don't right. really fear stuff in the way that adults do. Very true. It's just yeah, it's, yeah. it's an excitement. There's an excitement there. There's something there that you really want to get to and you want to overcome, but you've got this fear, and it's just it's a fear of what? Like what happened? What's the worst that could happen? Yeah. Exactly. If what you're planning doesn't work out. Exactly. You're yeah. not very far. You're, you're nowhere further back than you were before you started on that journey. Well, no, but yeah. what if it does work out? What's the possibilities if, if you overcome that fear, yeah, if you yeah. overcome that excitement and then get where you want to go? It, it's like getting in the ring. I use that, I use that all the time now. Everything I do, if I didn't get in the ring that day, I would have failed at everything in life. Sometimes as well, it's other people around you. Mm. I'm very careful who I spend time with. Yeah, yeah. I've got a very small circle of friends, yeah, tight, associates, yeah, yeah. very tight. Yeah. And I always make it that, you know, that I always feel like I'm around people that are going to not agree with me. They're mm. gonna they're gonna guide me, help me. Uh, it's not about agreeing with me. I'm not I'm not saying that at all. But one of the things is this, you know, when you've got a child like that. 
DK's got his his third boy coming along now. He's like he's he's the he's the he's the he's the real family man around the table. <laughs> believe me, uh, and I've seen it. And Great you know, mafia, and yeah. and when when that baby starts to crawl, the encouragement is to get the baby to walk. Yeah. Now the baby's not going to be scared of trying to walk. He's just naturally going to do it. Yeah, but that's one of the things with with all of us. We all were once crawling, okay, mm -hmm. and we all learned to walk, okay. And yeah. it usually was motivated by our parents helping us. Right. Okay, so that's the that's the group of people that are around you, your Those family. Those babies walking will have tried walking a lot of times. They would have fallen down a lot. Fallen down a lot, uh, an awful lot. Yeah, yeah. But what happens as we get older is we start that fear, okay, and then we doubt we can do something. And then someone else says, oh, you know what? I don't think you should be trying to sell that artwork. Yeah. I think you should carry on your job. That pays you your money every month. I wouldn't be taking too much time into this art. Oh, go on, do your little bit of art if you want to. I've had that. Not from my wife at all, from some certain friends that yeah. have been around us. Yeah. They've gone, oh, look at him in the garage doing his little bit of artwork. Now, okay, I know we've spoken about that before, but this happens to people. Mm. And it's all about it's all about understanding. If you want to do something, you've got to give it 100% every single day you've yeah. got to wake up and feel it breathe it eat it you've got to shit it it's got to come out of you yeah you've got to do it and it and that's 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 the thing you know i always think that um with regards to sales yeah I, I, uh, yes i've been in sales i've been in the sales since i was 19 years old all right so you know it's a long time uh, i won't go into numbers but it's a long time and the point being is is that you know i'm nearing 50 and when i hear people that say to me you know i oh, just i I, I really, I can't start that now. I can't. And it's a bit like take the tea off you can. You know, I mean, yeah. I, I always say that, but it, that's a mindset. Yeah. So I was coming up 40 and I was saying, you know, to my wife, I want to start painting. I want, I want to do this. You know, I'd, I'd made some money from the sale of my book. So I sold my book memoirs to Simon and Schuster. They produced my book, The Hunger. I had some money in my pocket. I said, then I want to do this. And I said, and I was, I was real. I said, I'm going to give it one year. If I can't sell work in one year, I'll give up. Wow. Right. And that was it. So I was managing certain things for her, still manage certain things for her. Of course I do. Yeah. But the point being is, is that you've got to be able to understand if you can do something, do it. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So I, I knew I could do something because I had some money from the book and I wanted to, so I can do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to give it everything I've got. And I did. I knocked on so many doors and in the end I worked out most of the time it was down to what I did gave me the return. Okay, yeah. that was the return. So the return on investment was investing in myself. I could get out and do this. I hired a space. I sold my work. I continued then to do all the big international shows that I do now. And that's what I do. I'm just about to take space at Sasha on the 21st of October. It's the biggest space in the show. That's what I do. Wow. That's what my studio does. Yeah, yeah. And that's why this is important to share. I mean, he's seen me go through this whole process. When I first met him, I had some, I had some originals. And I said, listen, David Klein, can you do me some prints? That's how we started our relationship. Wow. You know, and we developed things from there but all these things it's all about communication and development and that's why you are a great you are you, you are a, an amazing time mm. amazing you've got the internet now let's talk about instagram because yeah. you said something mm. else very interesting earlier about you know just with regards to websites let me, you, you 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 your words you tell us yeah for me i mean look the i think instagram's a genius it's worked for me I'm still quite a private person with my work. And I just think, you know, we talked about websites. I've done that as an actor, put a website up there. I thought that was the right thing to do. I was misguided. I was misguided by people. Uh, but again, once I let go of, of an ego as well, and, you know, stop thinking about me as, as, a, as this thing, this, this, you know, this mighty thing, and just start concentrating on the art and the, being creative, things evolve for me. And it's the same with the, you know, when I started to think to myself, like it's 12 months ago, I said, right, you know what? I'm, you know, I'm going to be an artist. Fuck this. I'm going to be an artist and I'm going to do everything. You know, I used your equation. I still use your equation. I follow it. I, I, I study it. I get myself out there and proactive and Instagram gave up for me. It, it allowed me also just not to kind of give everything, you mm. know, there's these people on Instagram that we spoke about that, that I'm an artist. How do I get more likes? Oh, I don't, I'll get my tits out. I'll take my top off. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I'm not getting my tits out. Not happening on this podcast. He's not getting his tits out. But isn't that, haven't we still, you know, for me, I feel like you, you've got some credibility. I and, I and I respect my work and I respect other people's work who have credibility, a bit of decorum. And that's the way I want to work. And with Instagram, it gives me that, you know, I put my work out there, regardless if I get 100 likes or 20 likes, but I know them 20 people who like my work are real people. They're 20 people who I respect. They're mm. 20 people who say, hey, that's a nice piece of work. And they're also the same people who say, hey, that's really, it's not my thing. And I respect that. 
you know, and social media has been such a platform for me, mm. Lincoln, at the no. foundations, because no one would even know I existed. Mm. But that's your stage. <laughs> that's that's your stage. stage. Yep. That's Hello. your whole production suite is on Instagram. Of course. Whatever you put out, you know, you decide what goes out. We yeah. have a, you know, we have a program here about looking at going over all social media because I always believe that if someone's not looking at Facebook, they might look at TikTok. If someone's yeah. not looking at TikTok, they might look at LinkedIn. All these, you've got to cover all of these. Yeah. But you know, but that's 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 you. Now you're getting more, you're getting more confident. Yeah. So that I think I don't really see when you talk about the word fear. I don't see fear with you. I see you as a very confident person. Yeah, I, I, I'm confident. Where I'm, I've become more confident. You know why I become more confident? Because I followed, again, go back to your equation about trusting in the work a little bit more. Mm. And once you start to, once people start to collect your work mm. and you start to sell work, yeah. Jesus Christ, it does so much for you. Of course it does. That's the, that's the biggest motivation. You know, I, 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 I challenge anyone, the biggest motivation for an artist, a, a, a visual artist like me, is that when you sell a piece of work, there's no better high, natural yeah. high. Yeah. What I'm trying to say is, is that, you know, we're looking for that, we're searching for that. So how do we create the mechanism to create mm. the sale, to get mm. the motivation? Mm. We've got to find that motivation at the start. Yeah. And that's why sharing stories is what it's about. Communicating with the world from yeah. artists communicating. You know another thing? Too many artists that keep everything like, oh, I'm not going to, no, I'd never, I'd never show how I do it. Or I'd never share who my agent is. You know, I mean, yeah. who cares? <laughs> I mean, I don't give, I don't care. Monkeys, who, who, who they were. That, but that's them. Yeah, that's yeah. them. And if they're in that world, that's good. Don't listen to this podcast, but I'll tell you something. There's a lot of people out there that wears thin with. And with the point being is, is that we are sharing something that I think has got, has got some substance to it because yeah. you know we're we're sort of putting our I'm I'm putting my heart out there really I'm saying look this is this is the whole of me and I'm willing to share it and that's why like I said to you I believe in your work we yeah. can help you do a show Amazing. when you do a show that will motivate you to do more because yeah. believe you me when you do a show we are going to get people drive people down there yeah. and we're going to sell some work do you know what you did Link I just want to mention this because I think it's quite important um, back in the day in New York in the seventies you know Lee Strasberg invented this new method of acting. And he allowed people who who weren't, you know, you know, from rich families, middle class people, to be able to act. And I think what you've done, I know, because I speak to young people who come to your shows and stuff, and we all share the same kind of experiences. That you have really kind of demol de demolished this stigmatization attached to art that you can have raw talent and you can do it. And I think that's what you've done. You've been like Strasbourg did with acting. You've given that to people like me. You said, you know what? Hey mate, so what, you didn't go to fucking art school. So what, you weren't born with a silver spoon in your mouth. Do you want to be an artist? Yes, I do. Then you can be an artist. And I mm. think that's what you've done. And that's what, you know, that's how it echoes around the galleries when we go and see your work. But people, you know, we talk, we say, shit, we can do this, can't we? Mm. And that's how it is. And that's how I feel. Especially when I, when I talk to you and I see your work, I think, yeah, you represent me. You represent us as young actor, uh, artists, raw talent coming through. You are the epitome of that. Mm. And I think we've got so much to you know, look up to because the way you're changing things at the moment, the world is everyone's oyster, is it not? It, we, we can all create something. We can all oh, be yeah. the next Lincoln oh, yeah. Tanley. Oh, yeah. out there. And I'm not saying this in an arrogant way. I think we've all got potential to be the next Lincoln Tanley. Is it? Am I, is am I right by saying that? Yeah. Because you've. Well, you've, there is. There's going to be. There's going to be many. You've there's given gonna, us the this, this is what this is about. Yeah. Be, you know, it's 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 be as good as you can be. Yeah. And this is and that's that's why as well. You know, it's it's to do with looking at all creatives to, to yeah. believe in yourself. You know, I have a yeah. I have an insane belief in myself, uh, but it's to do with with all spectrums of uh, of, of creativity, actors, musicians. Yeah. You know, we want to get we want to get we want to get an array of different people mm. that uh, can share their experiences of looking at yes. Yeah, I've 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 homed in on my creativity, and this is what I do. Um, you know, but positioning myself and selling myself, marketing myself, the continuation of that is is the vein that runs through this whole yeah. podcast. Yeah. So we want to do that. We're going to expand. It's this. This is why I say there's some there's some involving going on yeah, because yeah. you know it's it's to do with um, you know finding finding positive energy. I, I want it to be someone goes. Someone manages to go and listens to this and goes, you know what? I got something out of that. Yeah. There's something I got out of that. Of course. You know? And yeah, that's yeah. what we want. Yeah. We want somebody to get something out of it. Absolutely. You know? Okay. That's, that's very interesting. Very, very interesting. So what, so what's your, um, what's your sort of plans now? What are you looking at doing like with your, I, with your art? What's your, what's your next I, move? My next move is I've got to show my work. Good. I've got to get Good. into some kind of exhibition and say, right guys, I'm ready for this. 
I've got like 30 canvases around the house. My wife's going to divorce me if I don't get rid of them soon. Brilliant. That's great. <laughs> so That's a like... brilliant, brilliant incentive. <laughs> See, this is what I mean. So, we're so, we're now, we're now yeah. uh, no, no pun intended, we are, we're yeah. sparring this now. Yeah, we're yeah. talking about how are you going to do that? Yeah. So what, what are you going to do? I've got to find somewhere. Good. I've got to find somewhere to exhibit. Yeah. I've got to make sure that date's in the diary. I've got to stick to that date and I've got to turn up and I've got to be there and show my work and be confident about showing my work and sell my work. That's what I need to do. Mm. That's the objective. Mm. I think you need to create a support structure as well for that yeah. show. So in the build up, you know, you've got a lot of work to do on the publicity. Yeah. Uh, we were talking before about your website, whether you didn't find website work for you in the past. Was that in relation to acting? It was in relation to acting. I just, people saying, oh, he's a bit too pretentious because you know, what you, what, what are you selling here? You haven't really got anything to sell as an actor, have you? It's just- Showreel, you put, I mean, showreel is the one, isn't it? Yeah. But in yeah. terms of art, yeah. I mean, we've been working on Lincoln's site. We've done three or four iterations now wow. over the years. Uh, and it's transformed as Lincoln's transformed as an artist, but yeah. we find the website incredibly useful. Yeah. So Instagram, number one tool, Lincoln's on there every day, I mean, more than anyone I've ever seen, sometimes yeah. 20 stories a day, and it's crazy. The amount of views he gets and interactions off there is great. But the most powerful port, port for, for me running the studio on his Instagram profile is that link. Where does yeah. that one link that you get, where does that go? Or when he's able to swipe up on his stories, where does that go? Yeah. yeah. And but you have to be able to capture people. Yeah. Do you know why uh, my, my wife has been saying to me, she's giving me a bit of a hard time because what bothers me the most is when people call me up and says, hey, how much is your work? Yeah. I don't want that conversation. Mm -hmm. I'd like to say, I'd like to say, hey, check the website. My wife said, they should be going to your website. The prices are there. This is how much that piece of painting is. Yeah. And that, you know, that's, it is the next step for me. Mm. I do got to think about it. I have had some bad experiences with that in the past, but, like you said, You've got to, to go to that next level, I've got to work You've on it. You've got to work it. on yeah. it. I mean, you can get a website up in a single day. It's yeah, not yeah. going to be the best website in the world, but you can get it up in a day and you can and work on it. will show it. off your work. You, you've got to get exactly. it out yeah. there in the first place. You've got to get it out there, start getting feedback, talk to your friends and family, talk to your, yeah. your contemporaries and see, yeah. what, see what other people are doing. But you know, the website allows you to have a contact form, people to be able to get in touch with you. It allows people to sign up to a mailing list yeah. so you can keep them up to date directly into their inbox mm -hmm. so you can control what they're seeing. Uh, you can put an exhibition CV up there, stuff well, you've done in yeah. the past, stuff that's upcoming, a diary of events. Um, and then the catalogs, you know, you can create yeah, yeah. PDF wow. catalogs all from, you could do it all from your phone. <laughs> yeah. You know? yeah. And all you those 30 works that you could say to sat at home, your wife's going to divorce you. <laughs> you start get connecting into, with people. Get them into, yeah. a, into a brochure. You can do but, you, but you know what it is, guys? It's taken me a, three or four years to get to this level now. Yeah, it's like, right, I'm ready. I'm ready for this, Good. guys. Good. Yes. You're ready. I know you yeah, are. Yeah. You I'm, are ready. You know, and like the thing is, the DK saying there as well is, they, they contact you for that contact form so they can see what you're doing. They can look at the prices. They, yeah. they might be inquiring about a piece so they can mm -hmm. inquire on that piece, okay? You can then, to, just to begin with, you can just email them back. You can just say, you know, these are my bank details. This is how I want to do it. Yeah, you take control. Yeah. You haven't got to talk to anybody. Yeah. You're, using, you're using technology, okay, as your middleman. That's mm. your agent. Your agent is your website. Right. We're gonna we're gonna get you to think about that a bit differently. Absolutely. Yeah. And if you can get the visuals of your work on, and people are like clicking through and buying, you know, yeah. this. I mean, I think I think that Chris should have uh, Shopify. Yeah, you could. As I say, automated. You know, there's wow. places that you can go. You know, templates you can use to get you up and running straight away. Yeah. Uh, it gives you a great head start. You can personalize them and you can you can sell stuff directly on the website or you can yeah. use it as lead yeah. generation. But, but you know, like it's, you said, it's once, a place where you can curate exactly how you want it and yeah. present yourself as an artist and present your, your collection. Instagram's great, but it's going to be a big mixture of behind the scenes yeah, stuff and all that. It's and, been very kind to me, but the next stage is like you say, we've got to start like- I've It's, not, it's not one or the other. Yeah. They work yeah. in Yeah, they work together. Yeah. And They'll link into each other. They'll just link. You're just continuously linking yourself everywhere. Yeah. And I've had that conversation with myself. I have, and I beat myself up about it, but I know I'm lucky. I've got a really supportive wife who says, hey, Chris, you've got to just go for it. Do this. Not fear. It's excitement. It's, it's fear. It's excitement. <laughs> exactly. You know, get in the ring, have that fight. And it's yeah. going to happen. Yeah. The fight's going to happen. Yeah. And, yeah. and, I've, and I've, I've made my peace with it. You know, I, do, I, I think art is my thing. I love it so much. Mm. It, make, you know, it's the only thing which stops me from thinking anything. Mm. If that's, it, you know, I don't think about my mortgage. I don't think about no, my past. It's, it's a meditation. It's my meditation, yeah, exactly, and right. it's it's powerful. And and it's not just that. It's what I do in my work. When I go into these care homes with these kids who are totally traumatized, being through hell and back, and I get them a canvas, I get them a bit of paint, mm. and I see their life changes too. Mm. That for me is the power as well. Mm. Exactly. And you give back as well. There yeah. you go. So you know, it's so right. 
you're going to come back onto this podcast <sighs> when we and we want to see this website and we want to see this show yep. lined up. It's and there's, there's certain things you've got a good story. Mm -hmm. You've got you know you curate yourself and your work very well. It's you know you've got that you've got that passion. Yep. It's just a matter of like you know let's 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 enhance that excitement and not think about it as fear. Yeah. Are we good? I'm good. Yeah, that's a good, good. lesson for me. Thank you, that's DK. As well, it's a good, plan. It was a good, good thing. plan.